Hello, it's all Roger again here. Uh, I thought I'd just do a quick video to show you my haul from January 2017. And starting off, um, you've probably seen this guy already. He is a KO version of MP10 Shattered Glass Optimus Prime. I've also got a KO Oversized Toy World Roll Bar. And a KO Oversized Searchlight. Robots in Disguise, uh, Blast Wave and Storm Shot. Fall of Cybertron, Jazz. This thing is awful and I'm probably going to get rid of it. Some Revenge of the Fallen Scouts. I think well, this guy here is called Scattershot. I can't remember this guy's name here. Uh, again, I might get rid of these two as well, but they're cool little figures. Transformers Animated Lockdown. The gold version with the chainsaw type thingy. finger. Transformers Animated Skywarp Transformers Armada Optimus Prime I actually uh, got this part is new this part is my original one I kind of made up a complete set hence why he's got two guns Revenge of the Fallen Dirt Boss I think it is cool little thing Transformers Animated Bumblebee Deluxe Size Legend Size Trailbreaker and Hound, the black version, Special Ops or Night Ops or something like that. Cyberverse Bulkhead, Ultra Magnus, Megatron, Soundwave and Optimus Prime from Transformers Prime. Movie Whirl, missing one of his blades and one of the panels but still a cool toy, first of this mould I own. Some more Cyberverse figures, so we've got Bludgeon. We've got um, Beast Hunters, Optimus Prime, and oh, I want to say Dreadwing, isn't it? I think it's Dreadwing. This is Revenge of the Fallen Bludgeon. Um, unfortunately, I've got two of the same swords, and he's missing a panel, but he's an amazingly cool figure. Three movie legends. I think this is Rampage, Blackout, and Longhaul. And this Revenge of the Fallen figure... Um, I forget his name, I only keep him because he does have a fan mode that makes him into a toilet. As you can see, it does look like a toilet. So maybe we should call him Flushatron, Mega Flush. Um, yeah. I managed to pick up a G1 Thunderwing. Uh, I've done a bit of restoration here on some of the black. He's missing his um, he's in a robot and his weapons, but I think I've got his, some of his guns somewhere. So he's now my little restoration project. I've taken all the old stickers off. I'm going to order some retro labels. So yeah, pretty cool find. I picked up a load of these robot heroes figures and I've since sold them on. But I've kept this one uh, because someone's done some cool customization on it. So, and yeah. thanks to Dave Shotton or John Keep Dave for sending me these two. I've got Cosmos here with Payload. And Drift. Not quite a figure that I bought, but I did manage to complete my uh, animated Swingle figure by finding his cannon in a bag of bits that I bought. So I'm well happy with that. I've been wanting to finish Swingle for ages. And I think this guy ended up costing me about four quid now in total, which is amazing. Picked up a Transformers Prime Hot Shot, I think it is. Transformers Animated Voyager Class Megatron. One of the worst Optimus Prime figures that I own. It's got this spinny gimmick thing that doesn't work very well. There we are. Oh, there we are. I can spin. Yeah, maybe if you used it in the movie, mate, Megatron wouldn't have killed you. But yeah, awful figure. Titans Return Laser Beak. And finally, I picked up this little KO cassette. It's oversized, um, but it's a red version of. Transform it one handed. Of Ravage. I was going to sell this guy. I've listed him on eBay twice, but I think I'm probably just going to keep him now because he's quite cool. And finally, I didn't buy this this month, but it was kind of like a purchase because I was sorting through my loft and I found this guy in a box and I forgot I even had him. I bought him from America back in 2007. Um, I was out there the, when the first movie was released. So even though it, it wasn't a new purchase this month, finding him and playing with him made me realise how good the first wave of toys were. 